boys. Where are we? Can't rightly say, but we're somewhere between here and there. <laughs> News of the world! <laughs> I'm bringing you another bed. <laughs> Your hat? Downstream. 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 Go, 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 go. It's going to get waterlogged. Imagine getting up with the jar. Ahoy! Hey! <laughs> now, what are you fellas doing here? It's <laughs> like <laughs> you could grow citrus in here. You stay away until things quiet down, Nikki. You're a good boy no matter what anyone says. Well, I've never seen this before. I felt like a kid again. Summer was spinning at 8,000 RPMs and the days were long and rich. And while there was a lot of work to do at our countryside home, these were the days and we'd never get them back. was taking my river bum kitten Harper on adventures where she was falling in love with the hills just as much as me. Hey, lady. Did you do a little swim? You're so brave. I'm so proud of you, Harper. <laughs> it's like a you could grow citrus in here. Dude, that's a banana. That's a banana tree right there. No way. Yeah. Fresh. And one of my best friends, Mason, was back in town after more work on the family cottage by the ocean. And we talked about a plan to get up there in early fall for the final touches when I couldn't wait to get back and see all the new work he had done. <laughs> Take a right at that next opening. Let's go see the bulldozer. And then my brother Simon came home from Montana. And on the 4th of July, him, Mason, and I rode to a honey hole for a good dip. Summer. That's what summer was. The, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> Middle of the day. It was like, move kids. <laughs> My brother was going to be home for about a week, and we wanted to make the most of it. But while he was catching up with family, 
I got back to work on the inside of my old van. through the van on accident, which can happen when your mind is elsewhere. I was using wood I got from an old estate sale, and every step I made was exciting, as I had been waiting to build this thing out for over six years now. Trying to make it look, match the other side like it was live edge. Not bad. This summer has been one to remember. It's really felt like all of my childhood dreams coming true. It sounds corny, but there's just been so many fairy tale moments, stuff from storybooks like the fireflies, the cottonwoods, the butterflies, the willow tree, the promised land, all these places, the rope swings. It's the summer that's felt the most like my childhood. I've spent the most time at the river. I'm just dedicating more time for the things I really love. But these fairy tale moments like putting the firefly jars in the willow tree, those are my favorite things. That's what I started my career doing when I was doing photos on Instagram and shooting for brands. I would create these magic scenes. It's always been one of my favorite things to do, whether it was arranging my room when I was a kid or building forts or even now building out this van and something I've always wanted to do especially since I got property was set up a proper drive-in theater like an outdoor drive-in and I don't know where I'm gonna put that here on this property just yet but in the meantime I wanted to make something to ride out the rest of this summer so I built a decent sized screen and it's easy to transport so for now I mean I want to make a really big screen one day in a place where I can back my old blue truck up which by the way if you're wondering old blue is getting an engine rebuild she should be done any day now but yeah so built this nice little mobile screen and for the projector I went with the LG Cinebeam Q this thing is beautiful beyond the fact that it's powerful and one of the top projectors you can buy I just love the design this will probably be something I keep in the van I can literally just put this thing right on this shelf the design will work in any kind of space I would say whether it's retro or modern in this flex handle that you can carry it with but it also is the way you adjust the angle of the projector but most importantly it has premium picture quality this thing is full 4k with up to a 120 inch image that'll be bigger than what I've built here the colors are vivid and sharp there's clear details with rich black it automatically calibrates screen alignment and optimizes focus with the auto screen adjustment it just takes all the hassle out of using a projector we've been watching a lot of old 
movies lately. We watched this old one about Paris. We visited Paris for the first time this past winter, so to sit here in the summer and watch just brings you right back. And one of the things I really like about this, it has the web built in, it has Netflix, it has YouTube, and you can also connect it to your laptop via HDMI. You can actually mirror content from your phone using AirPlay. And LG is running a Prime Day sale on the Cinebeam Q, so July 16th and 17th, you can get $400 off if you buy through Amazon. Just hit the link in the video description below. So thank you to LG for sponsoring this video and for supporting this channel. And now back to the story. A river bums never made to spend more than a minute or two outside of the river. stretches of river around. There's no roads, no houses, no people. It's about four miles long and uh, it's been absolutely beautiful. I've lost my second action camera in two days to the river, which is only right in a way, I guess. You gotta respect the river's power. And I love the river more than anything. I'm looking for my GoPro right now. I lost it somewhere in the stretch, but the chances are very low of me recovering it, but just, uh, just a lesson, a simple, quick little lesson that the river is in control. Simon had been telling me about this stretch of river for a while now, and we always talked about exploring it. It's one of the most untouched sections around. And now him, our good friend Noah, and I were walking, hopping, and floating right down the middle of it. <laughs> Just... Our feet began to ache, my joints started to hurt, but there was no way out but through. Simon and I were born 12 days apart, and we grew up across the river from each other. Simon and Noah were good friends growing up, 
but it was about five years ago that Simon introduced Noah and I, and we became really good friends. So now when we're all together, there's a strong connection, and it often has a warm, nostalgic hue to it. What a crazy... Absolutely. We've been going for many hours now. We're very sore and tired and achy and ready for pizza. And we shouldn't have that much longer here, but we have no idea because we're just out here in the river. This has been pretty special. it then. First sign of life. Power lines. Time to get off the river. After four miles. What do you say? You know, it's no, it's no river bum highway, but it'll do. And after a long, hard day on the riverbed, we feasted on homemade sourdough pizza. That was something. <laughs> Dude. Welcome, welcome. Oh, to be back with the little boys. <laughs> Not just like made there. <laughs> Genuine. Um, but in the uh, the trailer edit, which I'm very excited for you to see, mm -hmm. there's like a shot where I'm painting and I had a candle going, and it's like very clearly it's marred, the of but definitely not interrupted when a drunken free for all exploded between Spoonhead and them. friends and a group of visiting qualified Indians. I think what would be better is Simon. Yeah. 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 But it was the July day where we started at dawn that we discovered our greatest treasure. We loaded up Simon's father's canoe he had rebuilt and was going to sell to take some pictures of it on the pond.
And so we pushed out under the dreaming tree to get set up while we waited for Noah to arrive. Simon and I had been coming to this little blueberry island since we were kids. A place we'll come back to as long as we live. Of course, we'd rather have to track stuff like that. <coughs> No, I can't tell. It could be other people. And then we I also brought an aero press. Okay. I love things in the skillet. That's really <laughs> going against the whole <laughs> thing here. Uh, he'll, he'll the skillet. Whoa! That's, Holy <laughs> that's not meant to happen. <laughs> I swear this doesn't usually... Alright, so stop it. <laughs> Start, no, this don't do once. that. You just gotta let it... Just put the eggs in. <laughs> that's what I was gonna do. Just All right, it. It. Let's just Start cooking them.
stuff now. I hid the rifle. I brought the money. I'd worry about you, Nick Adams told her. I don't even know where I'm going. There were chairs made of natural cedar on the porch, and in them sat middle-aged people wearing white clothes. There were three pipes set on the lawn with spring water bubbling out of them, and little paths led to them. And after our morning on the pond, Noah and I were excited to show Simon empty skillet bend and all the new land we had discovered down by the willow tree. I don't know about you boys, but I might take a dip real quick. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. How much farther down do you want to go? But the water was high, and the feeling was different down by the river. Right in. In you go. Held it above water. Wow! Beautifully done. Oh, that's a crazy ender. <laughs> Just disappeared. <laughs> And he's gone. <laughs> but then he Dude. comes back up and down. <laughs> oh, look at the shot in the mirror angle. Oh my god. <laughs> but nonetheless, we made our base camp and showed Simon our new world. Where are we? Or what happened? What's going on? Alright, so... Very unfortunate, but I think a I think something that was bound to happen is that we lost an action camera in the river. The river took it away. Many new flowers blooming along the old road, even since the first time Noah and I traveled it in early June. And as us three rode along through the gold, I felt happy and at home without worry, just like summers of childhood past. No further, some men say. Do not even think about it. And it was a joy to show Simon the willow tree, where Noah and I had first ended up and never been passed since. I'll carry it. Oh my God. <laughs> that is the pinnacle. But we have to progress. Every time. Every time. A blueberry pie. <laughs> in the <Here>. willow tree. <laughs> <laughs> the treat was was high level. And Noah brought a treat into the tree 
and we sat in the branches for what felt like hours. Yeah. Ahoy! Hey! Ahoy! <laughs> now, what are you fellas doing here? That's, dude, you're absolutely Tarzan right now. <laughs> I've never seen, oh my God, there he is again. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Others were way harder. Pass me a blueberry, why don't you? <sighs> There's a whole other ecosystem. Other <laughs> it's it's where the branches are smaller, though. It's like you start to get up into the yeah, young growth. Where the fresh growth is, yeah. Forty feet up. You get out of here, she said quickly and kindly, and get out of here fast. How much do you need? I've got $16, Nick said. Take 20, she told him, and keep that tyke out of trouble. Let her go home and keep an eye on them until you're clear. You stay away until things quiet down, Nikki. You're a good boy no matter what anyone says. You see Packard if things get bad. Come here nights if you need anything. I sleep light. Just knock on the window. No, said Nick. <laughs> You try and get me about half the other bottle when they're asleep. Put it in any old medicine bottle. I better go and watch them, his sister said. My, I wish we had knockout drops. I never even heard of them. They watched the yeah. other warden sitting at the table until he put his head on the arms. Then they heard him snoring. Get over outside the, the fence, his sister said. It doesn't matter if I'm moving around, but he might wake up and see you. All right, Nick agreed. <laughs> Are you going to kill me? <laughs> it, well, imagine. It's, it's so close. It is. It's like. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, well, I've never seen this before. <laughs> we knew it was time to do what we had to do though there was something so innocent and so beautiful about not knowing what was beyond the willow. And after careful consideration, Noah and I agreed to Simon's request to explore one more bend. And so we set off beyond the willow in the last light. Bringing you another bend. This is crazy. <laughs> the promised land, boys. Look at what is this stuff? Oh my God. This is. Noah and I had talked about it half-jokingly, that beyond the willow tree lay the promised land, the end of the road.
and as we rode through the vast lush valley full of ragweed and wildflowers, a vine-covered cottonwood stood at the final bridge before the railroad tracks, and we knew we had arrived. Riverbum Paradise, the promised land. <laughs> Okay, you ready? Oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The River Bum Bowl. Ah. This is the River Bum Bowl. Very nice. River Bum Bowl. Wow. I must try this. <laughs> <laughs> Very, very nice. Oh, that yeah, was okay. Nice. Very nice. Yes. Very, very nice. It's quiet there. Yeah. I find I'm happiest when I fully give in to that childhood feeling of adventure and imagination. It's so and that's, yeah, just, just feeling that. You're so delicate. And this story we had made up in our heads was unquestionably real in the moment. to the sound of the river and revel in that childhood feeling of adventure. Sweet love has accidents in the middle of the night. So 